What's the one thing that you miss when you were Amish growing up? Well, the obvious thing is I miss my family. I miss all the get-togethers. We'd have a get-together, you know, once a year on my dad's side of the family and at least once a year on my mom's side of the family. Um, not all of them, because some of my mom's side had moved to Wisconsin. But, you know, just seeing family and watching them, you know, watching their kids grow up and get married and um, watching my nieces and nephews grow up. I think there's over 20 of them now, and uh, I left the Amish before any of them were born. So, you know, I, I really don't even know them. You know, they're my family, but I really don't know these people. And um, there's cousins that I probably wouldn't recognize if I saw them, you know. And uh, it's, it's sad. You know, some of my cousins were just little kids. Now they're grown up. And when my grandmother died, I was at the funeral. And this Amish guy with a nice, thick, black beard came up to me and said, Hey, how's it going? And... I'm like, uh, who are you? And he told me, and he was just a little kid when I left. And here he is married with a beard, you know. So, yeah, the thing that I miss is the, you know, not being around my family. And not, you know, every time I go home to see my parents, my parents have aged. And they're, they're old people now, you know. And I don't know when that happened. And... You know, it's sad. It's it's sad to see people get older. I see my brothers and sisters. They don't look like kids anymore. You know, they look middle-aged, you know, and it's it's just sad to see, and I, I, I'm not there to see it happen, you know. You know how other people's kids always seem to get bigger every time you see them or older, and you're like, holy cow, when did you get so old, you know? And uh, that's kind of how it is when you leave the Amish and Every time you see your family members, you know, they've gotten older. And uh, like I said, I miss my family. I miss uh, being able to be there with them all the time, you know. So my heart goes out to all these ex-Amish kids out here who are not allowed to go see their families. And um, to the ones that do and dress in their Amish clothes out of respect, I really respect that because... You know, there's no reason for you to shun your family just because they shun you. So if you're ex-Amish and they want you to put Amish clothes on to go see them, do so. Because you're, you're not always going to have the chance to go see your family. So I would advise you to put on your Amish clothes and go see your family before it's too late. So hopefully that answers your question. God bless you. Have a good day.